We got the steam up, you put the dream up, Twin River's calling you. Listen to my friend, follow the Twin River, that mighty river, there's real adventure found in every bend. started out in our graveyard in Hannibal, Missouri. Tom Sawyer, Becky Thatcher, and me were on our way home. I don't see why we had to come this way. Oh, it's the shortcut, Becky. See that old headstone, Becky? It's for me and Huck signed and Joe killed Dr. Robinson. When Injun Joe escaped from jail, folks said he'd gone down river. But here he was, big as life, and out to get Tom and me for testifying against him in court. I'll find you! I thought Tom and me knew this cave, but we got all mixed up. This way? No! feeling he was right, that we'd see him again.
thing looked like something from a billion years ago. So do they. <laughs> Speed and ammo time stood still. Why are they bowing and scraping so? Maybe because they saw us float out of the sky and think we're some kind of superhuman being. Yeah, we both got red hair. I reckon that makes us related. Now, if you just give me a, a boost up a little. Uh... Oh, Tom, I'm afraid. But these people seem to respect us. I was thinking of Huck. He, he must be. I know, Becky. Best friend I ever had. <laughs> of all of them. Their rocks and spears will not help them. We have iron. He wants us to help him. In the best way to help him would be to stop the fight. But the Red Beard started it. I don't know what all your feuding's about, but what I seen, them other fellas started it. I'll do all I can for you. Now, a rock ain't bad if you see a window in an old barn or want to scare the crows out of a corn patch. But when you're going to use it for scrapping, you need a way to throw it harder. I'll have to show you what I mean. Spear throwers. That way, you can throw it twice as far and twice as hard. I'll show you. Tom Sawyer, you're just going to get these poor people into a lot of trouble. Now, watch this. They've learned to fly. 
We gotta think of something better quick. I'm thinking of something better right now. If you're not gonna stop fighting, maybe they will. I'm gonna go ask them. Becky, no! Becky! You tell them if they'll stop, we will! Someone's coming. you were dead. And I thought you were dead. I thought that big fine lizard ate you. Where you been? Over there with the spear people. I'm sure glad you got away. Now all we have to do is get Tom. But he's been made chief. Chief? If he's chief, how come he don't make him stop fighting? Looks to me like you're chief of the redheads. Why don't you make them stop fighting? Well, Becky's talking to them. We gotta think of something, just in case they won't quit. Now, see that stump oozing out? That's pitch. Collect a big pot of it. And while you're doing that, I'll show you how to make bows and arrows. You just tell Tom to stop the fighting, and everything will be all right. I'll tell him. Maybe when he finds out it's you, he will. What is happening? They'll start fighting. They cannot do that. They started it by hitting the chief on the head with a rock. We were being plain peaceable. You weren't either. You were making up a spear thrower. While I've been gone, you've made that bow and arrow. That's for defending ourselves. You go back and tell Huck that if he won't stop, we're gonna keep on with what we're doing. Now see here, Becky. Tom got us into this fix with that old balloon. He better quit first. I never saw such pig-headed boy. Why are you grinding up that charcoal? I found some sulfur and some other stuff in one of them caves. And Tom knows what happens when you mix them together. Gunpowder. You just tell Tom his side had better quit first. Now see here, Tom Sawyer. I'm sick and tired of running back and forth. You and Huck are gonna have to meet face to face and settle this thing. They have been quiet too long. I do not like it. Tell Huck that if he's willing to talk it over, so am I. Look out! They've attacked! Give them everything we've got! Tom! The rock came from up there! Might be Becky's right. Maybe we are carrying this thing a little too far. Oh.
Good to see you, Tom. Good to see you, Huck. I, I reckon it's kind of late in the day to say so, but I don't want to fight. No more. Me neither. Maybe we should both surrender. Oh, surrender! You are my captains. Hadn't been fighting each other, them mountain fellas never could have captured us. Now, I have time to take care of you three. Please, you don't have to take care of us. All we want to do is go home. Home? From now on, this is your home. I need you here to make more things like the flaming spears and the black powder that destroys. Only now do you make them for me, understand? Reckon we do. Each day something new, starting in the morning. <laughs> Crime and eat, having to think day and night. That's worse than wearing shoes and going to school. We gotta think of something. Not me. I couldn't invent nothing more to save my life. Then we gotta escape. You asleep, Tom? Nope. What happened to the balloon? It's hanging on a tree out in the forest. Mountain leader can't know about it or he'd have it. We can tell him about that. But well, gosh, Huck, if we tell him about the balloon, how are we ever gonna escape? Maybe he'll make us show him how it works. And while we're showing him. Tell you, we gotta show you. At least let Becky show you. Show me. I got a chance, Becky. Take off. You know I can't do that. I need dry grass and sticks. Anything that'll burn. Dry grass, sticks, get them. You better tie that anchor rope to the tree, Becky, or we'll get away. Oh, my God. 
Steam up, you put the dream up, big river's calling you, listen my friend, follow the river. 